She pulled against the ropes that had her tied to the bed. She knew there was nothing she could do about the pleasure that was happening in between her legs. She was just about to reach orgasm when he stopped. Oh, she could feel the frustration and she knew that the power game had just begun. Hi, I'm Jaya. And I am Ian. <laughs> and I am a somatic sexologist. I'm the author of four books, including my newest one, Cuff Tied and Satisfied. And we're really passionate about helping people have more passion in their love lives, which means having both deep love and unbridled, hot, amazing, er, yummy sex. So we've been doing a 52 week YouTube channel challenge and this is what week six? six are we in six? Yep, six. Okay, so we are on week six and we are exploring today the kinky blueprint. So we've been doing a series about the five erotic blueprints. There's energetic, sensual, sexual, kinky, and the shapeshifter. Last week we did the sexual. sexual. They like to get it on. And this week the kinky. So I'm a kinky. He I'm admits a sensual it. kinky. You're admitting it to the world, love. I, I am. I tell right. that. Mm. I love this man, especially when he admits that he's a kinky. <laughs> oh, just love it. All right, so I'm going to tie him up just because. <laughs> just because it'll feel good to him. So there's a couple of different types of the kink. There is the psychological and there is the impact kink. Mm -hmm. The psychological is about the power games, the power dynamics. I got you. You have nothing you can do. You have to take this pleasure. You are helpless now. Yep. That's and the psychological. That gets into slave games. That gets into who's in control. That gets into all sorts of wonderful power dynamics. All right. I'll untie you now. <laughs> he <laughs> has then, permission to be untied. Uh, the impact portion of it is more of what you're going to typically see in the stereotypical thing, but it's, it's very le legitimate. It's it's the impact, it's the, it's the hitting. It's yeah, I here I it did, comes. I promised I would spank her, so here it is, <laughs> little spanky. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> now I'm having fun. Three, thank you, master. <laughs> <laughs> so the impact, and then something that is really one of my favorite parts of all of that is the constrictive, which is really being held tight and you cannot move. You're just so, you're out of control, and it's this like tight holding of the body. Mm -hmm. So, There's all kinds of different sensations you can play with. There's vloggers. A Wartenberg I wheel. love Kink World. So we'll talk more about Kink World a little bit later. However, what I want to touch on now is the shadow. So kinkies are turned on by anything that's taboo. So taboo for you might be sex out of missionary position. Taboo for somebody else is some of the stuff we've been playing about here because that is Ian's, you know, his taboos or restraints and some of those things. So shadow is being so ashamed of those taboos that you don't tell anybody, that you really just feel deep shame in your body. And shame is when I, feel, I am bad. So shame is I am bad. Guilt is I did something bad. So I, I love the distinction that Brene Brown makes between the two of these, which is shame I am bad versus guilt I did something bad. I think that's a really good distinction to make. So with Ian, you know, there was shame there about really talking about and admitting and you know, he's playing with my blueprints and I had to write a book on kink. Boy, some great things happened there. We went into a 40-40 day challenge where we switched. I was mm -hmm. the submissive, she was the dominant, and then we flipped it where I was the dominant and she was the, the submissive. So that was this whole unraveling of just how deep this kinky blueprint can go. Mm -hmm. It is so deep. There's no way we can touch on everything. Another else. shadow, sorry to interrupt. No. Another shadow is the fetishes. So sometimes if you have something that becomes your only route to, sh to turn on it, I don't wanna say all fetishes are the, th the shadow, but what is is when you only have one route that leads you into arousal. So if the only way that you can get turned on is wearing the yellow raincoat, that might be a problem when you're dating or trying to see somebody new is because, unless you find somebody of course who loves, loves the yellow, the yellow raincoat, but then they may get bored. What if they're a shapeshifter? What if they're an energetic and they wanna play in other ways? That can be sometimes a trap for you. All right, so if you wanna find out what your blueprint is, please go to MissJaya.com, that's M-I-S-S-J-A-I-Y-A.com to take our quiz. And there you can find out more about these blueprints, find out what you are, who knows, maybe you'll find out that you really are a kinky. And what we really want you to do too is make comments here, ask questions, because we're gonna be looking at the comments and we will let you, we will, you know, do what we can to help you on this journey. Come join us. All right. It's gonna be a lot of fun and fill your life with, with pleasure. pleasure.